redstone dust isn't the only item you can use to carry and manipulate current. You can also craft things like redstone torches, repeaters, comparators, and blocks. Redstone torches are useful for making more complex machines. They're also cheap and can be used as a constant source of power. You can place torches on the top or side of a box. They never burn out on their own, but you can turn them off by powering the blocks they're on. When the block is no longer powered, the torch turns on again. Redstone repeaters are small and versatile, which is important for efficient and compact designs. A single repeater requires two redstone torches, a lump of redstone dust, and three blocks of stone. A redstone repeater is a gray panel that can be placed on most standard blocks. Repeaters can only be powered from the back and can only transfer power to the front. Redstone comparators are a bit tricky because they have many different properties and capabilities. To create a redstone comparator, arrange your items like this in your crafting grid. Redstone comparators look a lot like the redstone repeater and can be placed in the same way. They have a front for output and a back for input and can be placed on most solid blocks. The comparator has two settings. One passes on the back current only if it exceeds the side current. Another takes the difference of the two currents' strength. Finally, redstone blocks power everything around it and cannot be turned off. You can craft a redstone block with nine lumps of redstone dust. Redstone blocks are surprisingly simple to implement. Just place one next to whatever you want to power. The main appeal of the redstone block is that it is, for all intents and purposes, a block. It is therefore solid, it can be placed anywhere, and it can even be pushed and pulled while still holding a charge.